So, uh, hello, my name is Jürgen Mach and my talk is uh, about tool confusion. And imagine you have this uh, super cool project <clears throat> and you want to publish it, but you also have a friend and says, I oh, know you have to lint it and you have to make it more Pythonic. So he recommends to use Flake 8. Flake 8 is one of the most uh, popular linters. So how do you install it? <clears throat> you pip install Flake 8, but obviously you don't pip install Flake 8 because otherwise it's in your global site packages. So you do uh, <coughs> create a virtual env, uh, activate it, install it, run it, and uh, the next day you have to uh, do it all over and you don't like this. So there must be a better way. <coughs> Excuse me. So, and obviously there is one, you can use your IDE to run uh, Flake 8, like here in uh, Visual Studio Code, just select uh, linter and you're good to go. This is also <coughs> quite cool, but what do you do when um, you change your IDE or work from the terminal or Vim, or what about your colleagues? You also want to use them Flake 8. <coughs> so you can use Tox. Tox is a virtual env management tool. Basically, you create um, a list with different environments where you usually run your tests and you can also run your linters with it. Um, here I defined Flake 8 and uh, here I configured it, install Flake 8, run it and it works. <clears throat> you can check it out. It takes a second and yes, obviously uh, it, we have a, a few problems with our source code we should fix before. So, but uh, this is also very cool, but what is when you forget to run talks locally and accidentally push a bad commit? So you want to prevent this and you introduce um, CI, continuous integration. I'm old school, I use Travis, the cool kids use uh, GitHub Actions and the others use Jenkins or whatever, or Microsoft uh, Azure. <coughs> and, uh, Basically, this is a YAML file. You define again the Python environments, you pip install flick 8 and you run it and all good. But what is when CI fails? You wait a good 20 minutes or whatever uh, until uh, CI runs, fails and uh, all your colleagues and whatever get an email about the failed run and you have to do it all over. So there must be a better way. And there is one and this is called pre-commit. Pre-commit is a linter runner. You also have um, a YAML file here. Basically you define your uh, different linters, you pin the version number and then you're good to go. And as the name suggests, pre-commit runs pre-commit just before you commit. So uh, it's impossible uh, to create a commit which is uh, with badly formatted code. So, and uh, the pinning is also a plus because you and all your colleagues will have the same version number. So, okay, now you have uh, Flake 8 via pip in the IDE, Tox in the CI, pre-commit, and you have to make sure all the version numbers uh, are in sync, and uh, that's not a perfect way. We need to do better. And what I do, <clears throat> instead of running Flake 8 here in the Tox, I run pre-commit, <clears throat> and I create a, whoops, I create, uh, ooh, sorry, uh, a pre-commit uh, configuration. And um, pre-commit is not only a hook, but also a command line tool. So you can run it via Tox. Okay, um, you're un unable to, to commit uh, uh, bad stuff. You can run it with Tox, but what about CI? Uh, we still have a Flake 8 but there's a better way. You can install Tox Travis and um, just run Tox. And uh, that's the whole uh, cycle. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Jürgen Mauch. You can reach out to me on Twitter. And when you want to see a example project where I used it, this is a Flask re-uploaded. There's a fork of the popular but no longer maintained Flask uploads. So thank you very much. And because I have 15 seconds left, I promised Nick um, in the last talk, we, we talked about not to commit um, a breakpoint and there is help for Nick 
we can use another we can use a, another uh, pre-commit uh, configuration which is called debug statements and it checks your code where we have breakpoints like breakpoint or import bdb etc that's it thank you very much yes improved stuff <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so have you been called my talk, some some Paul popped up. Who who was it? <laughs> oh, Georgian, we have a question for you. No, go ahead. Uh, so it's it's Harry again. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do do I have a, a choice to accept the the question or not? Oh yes, yes. You can consider him muted. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Harry. <laughs> Uh, okay, Harry, do you want to speak or are you happy for me to just read your, your question? What's the advantage of a normal git pre-commit hooks? Um, well, actually, I, I didn't look at the implementation of pre-commit. Um, there are several uh, advantages like uh, the, the central, there's a central file you can check in in your repository. So all your teammates have the same version. You can do a pre-commit uh, auto update and you out, uh, update all your linters at once. And when you have like uh, black flake eight, uh, um, bandits, uh, whatnot, and uh, it's, it's very, uh, very easy to update all at once. And that's pretty, pretty nice. And you have only one nice YAML file and you don't have to mess around uh, the original uh, underlying Git uh, hooks, which, which I tried a couple of years ago and I messed up. And uh, so I stopped this for a very long time and then uh, I found pre-commit like a year ago or so and uh, I'm really happy to use it. And there's, there's one disadvantage with pre-commit because it's so good. Just yesterday, I, uh, I had a, um, I did a pull request to a, a friend's repository with an automati automation tool, and uh, I completely forgot to run Blake, uh, Black and, and Flake 8 and all the stuff, and uh, the, the, uh, the pull request was completely messed up, and I was tired and didn't see it, and he was tired and didn't see it, and he merged it, and <laughs> yeah. So it's too good to leave out. That's my, my thing. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, we have Circle CI uh, checks that we not able, we're not able to merge anything uh, if there is no, like we need two reviewers to be able to merge anything into the code base. Um, but just exactly because of this, because like one and one, someone is probably going to be tired at some point. Um, and that can happen, but well, pre-commit, pre-commit everything. Oh, thank you very much, Jurgen. Lovely to see you. And thank you for your lightning talk.